welcome to a new day of Vlogmas, keeping my voice down because we are at the farmhouse and we have just come out of an event in the glass house which is, they basically, I'm not sure when they did it, but they've converted half of the big greenhouse where they grow the exotic plants um, into an event space and it was so beautiful so we came in for a Yule log demonstration, Yule log decorating demonstration which has just finished, it was really lovely, it's given us lots of inspiration for Christmas desserts. Um, we're now just admiring this new outdoor area. This seems to have sprung up recently, I don't remember seeing this last time we came here. Got a huge fire pit, lots of outdoor, I think oxen wood tables. And Lilla is very much inspired by the big structure over the top, it's like an oak structure. Lovely outdoor furniture, all set within the kitchen garden. successful trip to the, to the yes, festive market. We, did. we met Vix from Caddo Paperwork, Lilla's got some stocking fillers, we've got a blanket from a lady that actually lives in our village. My goodness, I've got candles, we've got fudge chocolate, we've got hair accessories. Mission accomplished. Hello again darlings. So we are now on our way to Burford. We're going to go to the Burford Garden Company to see what Christmas decorations they've got in store. I was whispering a little bit earlier because I don't want to be too in your face with the vlogging camera. Making the most of having the Aston Martin. Ready for the growl. <laughs> Such a good noise. I'm with Lilla. What do you think of the car Lilla? Fabulous. It so luxurious inside. Isn't luxurious. It? Luxurious. It is. It's beautiful. All the leather and the stitching. It's very grand. And, yeah. and you don't really want to put your feet on the carpet. I know. Do you? It feels like sporty but luxurious at yes. the same time. Yes. Yes. And I don't know what happened the other day because when I went to Bista, I could not get the Apple Play to work, but now it's working straight away as soon as I plug my phone in. As you can hear. Lovely. <laughs> oh, Charlie's made a cheese souffle. Ooh, so did Charlie it right. did it right. Well, he sent a picture. Wow! Well, if it's anything like his Yorkshire pudding. Mm. Oh my so Charlie is at Dales for Cookery <laughs> School this morning and he's just made a cheese souffle, which is actually very hard to make. Okay. And the amo. And the amo. Oops, helps. And the amo. I think yeah. they're waiting to come in here, aren't they? Oh, sorry. I've got a lot time safe? to faff. Is the camera safe? It'll be fine. We found Nigel's um, much taller cousin. Or is he a drummer boy instead of a nutcracker? Or do all nutcrackers play the drums? I don't know. It's nutcracker themed. Little babies. Oh, Fenella's best friend. Daphne the duck. Gordon the goose. Gordon the goose and Daphne the duck. Oh, that's rather fabulous.
Okay darlings, home again, and I thought I would show you the bits that I bought at the um, market at Soho Farmhouse. It's just on today and tomorrow, so it's just a quick weekend market, but they had some really, really lovely businesses there. And if you watched my small business Christmas gift guide, hopefully some of those businesses might be able to do um, some last minute Christmas gifts. So, look at Dickie. I will leave it up on the screen in case you would like to check out some more, but I'll also try and leave the websites for these linked down below as well. But before we do that, I want to very quickly uh, thank the sponsor of today's video, which is my year long partner, Surfshark. You guys will know, oh, there is a cat in the garden. You better watch yourself, sir. Sorry, distraction. Yes, um, huge thank you to Surfshark, who I've worked with all throughout this year. It's an incredible service. It is, if you're not aware, a VPN, which is a virtual private network, which enables you to essentially put your device anywhere in the world. So a lot of use cases um, are Netflix related. And I think at this time of year, if you want, if you've literally watched every Christmas film under the sun, then you can try using Surfshark, scrolling through the hundreds of countries and maybe put your laptop or your tablet in America or Germany and Singapore seem to have a lot of extra Christmas films. If you don't have the holiday on your, uh, your country's Netflix, then you can put your Netflix in the UK. I know a lot of you guys don't live here in the UK. Um, so it's a really great way of expanding your Netflix horizons. It'd be a really nice gift idea for someone actually if um, they are really into their TV, their, their, their films, um, because by gifting someone a Surfshark membership, it's quite a niche gift, um, but it would really expand their viewing options. I've used it for shopping in the past. I was thinking what's coming up? Um, there's a, ah, oh, Sex in the City, of course, if your country doesn't have the new Sex in the City, which I believe is called, and just like that. I don't know why they didn't just call it Sex in the City again. But if where you live doesn't have Sex in the City, then you can use Surfshark to move your device digitally um, to the UK and you can watch it that way. I will be using it in January, the 1st of January, they're releasing on HBO um, a never before seen uh, reunion of Harry Potter like they did for Friends. They're doing it for Harry Potter, so I'm gonna be using my Surfshark for that in January. There's loads and loads of different use cases. Um, and Surfshark is incredible. It's so easy to use. You can use it on loads of different devices. Hello, my big boy. 30 day money back guarantee if you don't love it, which I know you will. There's a link to download um, at the very top of the description box. So you can check that out. But yeah, I definitely recommend giving it a go. And thank you again to Surfshark for working with me throughout this year and enabling me to watch literally every <laughs> Christmas film in the whole world. And now, darlings, let's start with this one here. So this was the Crackling Candle Company, and she had a really beautifully displayed stall. Soy wax candle made from a natural blend of wax, luxury fragrances, finished with our signature crackling wick. And I love buying candles from independent companies. It's really nice to support smaller companies, especially at this time of year. And this smells, well, I don't know. I don't know why I'm showing the camera. It smells absolutely heavenly. It does have a wooden wick, so you have to kind of tilt the candle um, when you light it and leave your candles, whether it's this kind of candle or any candle, you should leave your candle burning for at least two or three hours when you first light it because otherwise they funnel. If it doesn't melt all the way around, it just creates like a funnel and then you don't get quite as much out of it. This one is actually for me, but I did purchase another one as a gift. So I might actually, oh, you're actually balanced on the other one. So I'm gonna leave that out. I know Charlie will very much love that. He's on his way back from a day at the Dalesford Cookery School. You right there? And um, he sent me a picture of his cheese souffle that he's made. It looks amazing. And that's very hard to make actually, but I'm looking forward to seeing what else he made. Um, I bought this lovely little hair band for Lala, who is experimenting with different hairstyles from a company called Sister Sister Collective. And it's this beautiful, like, emerald green, not hair, ooh, <laughs> should I have bought myself one that is rather cute. Beautiful, luxurious, velvet, knot style headband. And it looked really lovely on Lala when she tried it. So that's a nice little gift. And then for my local assistant, Lucy, she loves teas. And there was a company called Tea and Me, and I thought the packaging was really quite beautiful. This, I think, is just called their Winter Blend. Heritage Limited Edition Black Tea. 
and then I wasn't sure if she had a strainer so I also grabbed a little strainer which is very cute that's tea and me um a cock cocktail <laughs> I've got cocktails on the mind. A company called the Cotswold Cotswold Knit or Cotswold Knits. I can't remember if it's plural or not. Um, they had a lovely store there, and a lady um, was like, "Oh, Josie, I live in the same village as you," which is totally bonkers. But yeah, so very very local company indeed. And I saw she had uh, like hand warmers, neck warmers. Um, I think she said she's going to start doing socks. And I saw this blanket and I thought that is the exact perfect colours. It looks a little bit more cool toned on camera. But the perfect colours for our drawing room and a similar kind of patterns to the cushions in there and the window seats. Um, so yeah, that is absolutely brilliant. And I love that it's literally the most <laughs> local company that we could possibly have found. Um, we did buy as well a couple of the beautiful Christmas tree hand-painted plates, but Lilla has got those to wrap up. And she also bought some fudge. I feel like we got some other bits as well. We had a really good haul. And then we went to the Burford Garden Company. They just have the loveliest baubles there. So, so beautiful. I did buy a lot of baubles. I won't go through all of them because there are a lot in here, but just to show you, and I think I, I picked up and panned over most of them anyway. But just to show you the style, they basically have um, so many of these absolutely stunning glass baubles. I mean, they are expensive. This, this is literally the world's most expensive bauble. And this shop did come to a lot of money. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need your help, guys. I have a glamorous older sister or older cousin for Fenella. Where's Fenella? Fenella's over there in the corner. Can you see her? Over there? Are you ready to meet? Maybe she should be called Petronella. Fenella and Petronella. The pheasants. Isn't she fabulous? Isn't she just the most bougie pheasant you have ever seen in your life? What do we think, guys? Petronella? I quite like Petronella, but if you guys have got any more um, ideas that would sound good with Fenella, I think Petronella is going to take some serious beating. What do you think, Dexie? What do you think of your new friend? Yes, mummy, but I'd rather kiss you. Mm, you're lovely. Where's your brother? I ain't cheeky. Yeah, and I think the rest of the bag is just full of baubles. Yeah, but some really, really nice bits at Burford Garden Company. It's actually a good half an hour away from the farmhouse. I thought it was closer, but that is my shopping for today. Um, heading back to the farmhouse in a couple of hours, actually. As soon as Charlie gets back, we're just going to chill here for a couple of hours, and then we're going back there at half past four for a roast. And I think Charlie's going to want to look around the farm as well, the market. There was a turkey and cranberry bap stand, a dirty burger van, a mulled wine van very festive there really really beautiful but i'm going to pop these bits away and tidy up before his lordship gets home so char has returned from his half day cookery class at dalesford did you actually learn anything new darling so i was a bit worried yeah. it might be a it bit beginnerish no no, no. I, I really rated it no, oh wow no, no. good no, and I'm, i've never had any sort of tutorials on anything because i think so, when your mum bought you those that ticket i think no, you were Lyndon a lot richard. oh Linda richard yeah, the, the i think young, you were a lot more of a novice chef then but i was thinking um, gosh you've grown so much ago. oh is that I thought it was two birthday, years so it's july oh. last year but the um so I would say that it's a really, I've never done anything like this before. Obviously it's not super pro, like there's a lot of more amateur, like people that are more beginners in the class. Yeah. Um, which, which is fine because in a way you, it covers everything. Like I learned some new knife skills that I've not um, oh, really? thought about, just even where I hold the knife sometimes maybe. Mm. Um, then the really nice thing is we cooked two dishes and then sort of watched him prepare the third dish. The third dish was the cinnamon bun. <gasps> I've got the rest before. The only thing I would say is I'm not big into baking, so it's not really yeah. that one was are not as relevant. However, the one, the two but that I we can make them for well, Christmas. The two that we tried were awesome. So we did a cheese souffle, mm. which is amazing and dead easy. And did I've you bring never me any made home? Souffle before you can't oh. bring a souffle home. Oh. Um, and as part of the cheese souffle, obviously you make a um, bechamel oh, sauce, or yeah. not quite a bechamel sauce, mm. a roux. Yeah. And it made me realise that we really do 
make quite a few mis- actually mistakes even with the cauliflower cheese like we use too much butter which is why sometimes the roux is a bit oily oh um and potentially too much cheese oh <gasps> yeah no you such can thing. have too much cheese yeah but you can because what happens is the whole <clears throat> um consistency of the sauce changes because mm. the fat is released from the cheese yeah and the cheese can split so actually sometimes less is more to make a really like smooth but I would sauce. say what you put on the souffle is not a cheese sauce, but what I put on my mac and cheese is a cheese sauce. 100%, but what I'm saying is about with the actual roux process, because I think the consistency sometimes of my cauliflower cheese sauce mm. is occasionally too runny. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, and then the next dish was really interesting. It was pollock, which is a white fish, but it's not dissimilar to sort of salmon in terms of what it looks like, but it's white. Really All nice. right. But it was more what was really nice was we made learned how to make a beurre blanc, which beurre is blanc. like a buttery French sauce that would also equally go really well with a white meat like chicken. Ah, oh, okay. Um, not healthy because a lot of butter. But <laughs> and then I got these on discount with some food as well. Did you get more ketchup? Sorry. Did you buy more ketchup? No, we've got some in the store. Oh, have we? Okay. So what are you yeah. going to use these pans for? That looks like a great bechamel sauce pan. So, it was also interesting picking the brains of the guy. Yeah. Oh, that's course. heavy. And he was really um, knowledgeable. Obviously, he's a full-on chef. Now, I've wanted this pan for a while, and I've never... I mean, this actually wasn't... This was 49 quid. Oh. And this was about 70 or 80. Okay. So, I mean, look, it's not a small amount of money, but they're, they're last. Yeah. But these are stainless steel inside. He was actually saying that, in general... And this is my favourite pan at the moment, but you say in general, this stuff is not very good, very good both for your health, yeah. but also to achieve stuff. So like with a whisk, you can't really use a whisk in there. So mm. for a lot of what we did today, we used a pan like this size. Yeah. I'm not going to get rid of this. because No, this is really that's useful, so handy. And it's nice for surface area. And my always this, pan, the, um, the non-stick on that is non-toxic, but I do like your you can pan. only use wooden it's or plastic utensils. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so... So yeah, it was all in all, Great. it was really useful. I learned a lot. Good. Nice people in the class. Oh, good. Was everyone um, else kind of in couples or? Uh, there was a guy sat next to me who was the second to arrive. So I was, uh, I was the first there. Oh really? And he was, I thought you were um, going to be late. No. Did so it no, start at ten? Only, only twenty minutes from Dallas. I know. Um, and of course, you're probably gift. going hundred miles an hour down the lanes. A gift, and then um, everyone else was in couples, but I think there was a family at the end. Like there was like a mother and. I think children and then their partners. I couldn't work out. Oh, that's children, so right? nice. You know, like Growing up children. Yeah. Okay, we are just about to head out to the farmhouse again. I feel like a yo yo going there today. Um, but I'm going to quickly show you my jewellery. I've just topped up my makeup. <laughs> Not sure if you'll be able to see, but I put on this lovely <laughs> sparkly eyeshadow, which is a lovely Tom Ford one. Very nice. And then. My jewellery today is from Thomas Sabo, and they have a gorgeous new collection, including this kind of celestial star necklace. I thought it was very festive. You might be able to see the ring here is matching, and earrings as well, and then this massive kind of signet style ring. And then the ring on my middle finger is quite unusual. Oh, what was that one? Right. And it's kind of like something out of Harry Potter. I keep talking about Harry Potter recently. It's like the looking glass that spins. So actually that top bit kind of spins around. I thought it was a rather gorgeous collection for a festive roast dinner. farmhouse and I've just been doing a little bit of pre-bed editing. Um, it has been the loveliest festive day with friends and with family. It's just been a really nice wholesome festive day and during my editing I have realised that I'm really bad at ending vlogs but I hope you don't mind. Vlogmas 
it's kind of, you know, all the rules go out the window when you are doing a vlog <laughs> every single day. But I thought I would say goodnight to you tonight. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching another vlog and I really am very grateful um, for all of you for the comments throughout Vlogmas have just been so lovely. Um, oh, but just a warning, <laughs> I've noticed a few comments. Obviously, I've just been checking the comments on tonight's video. I think a few people um, may have missed my note where I, I pinned a comment. There's basically this weird, like, scam going around. I don't really, I don't know what the scammer is getting from it. Um, but I think they've started like a WhatsApp group pretending to be me and saying that there's a competition prize involved. That's not me. The only, I, firstly, I would never <laughs> share my WhatsApp. Um, but any account on YouTube, if you click on it and it's not the Josie Fashion Mumbler with 500,000 subscribers, then it's not me. I'm really sorry. I don't, I don't know what the scam is gaining from it. I don't know. This time of year, you just have to be ultra careful because there's a lot of, there's a lot of bad people in this world, which is such a shame. Um, and also while we're talking about YouTube, I have noticed um, in my analytics, because I'm such a nerd, I've got an app on my phone, it's called the YouTube Studio app, and I can literally see like all the details. Do you want to know actually? It's probably quite interesting for you guys to know this, who you are. It's so funny. So I can see exactly where you are, not each individual person because GDPR. Um, but you might be interested to know who else is watching. So only 0.6% of my audience is 13 to 17 year olds. 11% of my audience is 18 to 24, 34%, so the biggest chunk of my audience, 34.7, is 25 to 34 year olds, 20% is 35 to 44 year olds, I don't know why I'm telling you this, <laughs> but it might be interesting because I feel like a lot of people think that YouTube channels are watched by really young people and I get so many emails from people saying Josie I must be your oldest subscriber and often when I meet people like I met a couple of ladies in the street yesterday and it was actually the mum of the pair that was my subscriber um 15 percent are 45 to 54 and 11.9 are 55 to 64 and six percent are 65 plus so I have six times more 65 plus viewers than I do 13 to 17 year olds and I have more 55 to 64 year olds watching than I do 18 to 64 year olds it's so funny 90.5 percent female 28 percent in the UK 20 percent in the US but 59% of my views come from subscribers, which means 40.5% of you are not subscribed. Guys, what's going on? You don't get to see Dicky rolling around if you're not subscribed. <laughs> so this is my little Christmas wish. If you have been watching my channel for a while, if you've been enjoying the vlogs, um, and you haven't clicked that little subscribe button, then I'm, I'm guilty, I watch a lot of channels and I watch them every day and I'm like, oh, I haven't subscribed. So if you notice that the button down there says subscribe instead of subscribed, tap that button. That would, that would be my Christmas wish come true. Yeah, it's so funny, it's so interesting. I find this app fascinating. You guys enjoy watching videos on Saturdays and Sundays. We've got 124,000 returning viewers this month. 22.3 million impressions. That is mad, isn't it? Oh my gosh. 0.7% of people came to my channel via Bing. Who uses Bing? <laughs> if you're one of those 0.7 people, let me know. <gasps> this is interesting. What people search in YouTube to come across my channel. So funny. Just love looking at all these stats. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed, darlings. It's half past eight, which means it's past my bedtime, but I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I will see you bright and early potentially tomorrow morning for a new one. Good night!